Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Microsoft SQL Server on your Windows 11 operating system with SQL Server Management Studio. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for SQL Server and the first link which will appear here will be from Microsoft.com. So just click on this link. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video so you can directly come to this web page. On this web page, when you will scroll down, you will be able to see uh, two versions. One is uh, developer version, other one is express version. So you can see SQL Server developer uh, is a full featured free edition licensed for use as a developer. You also have uh, SQL Server Express, uh, which is a free edition of SQL Server which is ideal for development and production for desktop, web, and small server applications. So we are going to uh, download uh, this express version. So I'm going to click on download now button, which is going to start the download of this exe file. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this file. Let me minimize my browser. And now you can see SQL Server setup has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So on this window, I have three options, download media, custom, and basic. We are going to go with the basic uh, version. So I'm going to click on the basic here. And then you will be asked to agree with the license terms and conditions. So you can read all these license terms and conditions. And if you agree with them, click on accept. And this will be the default location where your SQL Server will be installed. If you want to change it, click on Browse and select the location. But if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on the Install button. So I'm going to click on Install. And first of all, it's going to download the essential packages. So you can see, first of all, it's uh, downloading the essential packages. And then it's going to start the installation of those packages. So just wait for this to complete. So the download of all the packages are finished. So now the installation process is going on. So I'm going to wait for this installation also to finish. And now I can see uh, that the installation has been completed successfully. You can also see this message installation has completed successfully. And here you will see a few important information about your SQL server. So the first one is the connection string. So this string you will use to connect to your uh, SQL server. So if you want, you can copy this connection string and save it somewhere. The second thing here is the SQL server install uh, log folder. So here all your logs will be saved. You also have installation media folder, which is uh, at this location. And then you have installation resources folder, which is at this location. So now from here, you can directly uh, test if your SQL Server connection is working or not. For that, just click on connect now. And if you see this kind of uh, window without any error, then your SQL Server is working fine, right? So you can see SQL Server to 2019 here. The version is available and you can see uh, here that you can give SQL commands in order to uh, create or uh, uh, work with your database, right? So once that's done, that means SQL Server is working. You also have a few other options here. For example, customize. When I click on customize option, and then you can uh, see all these options here. So Microsoft update, product update, install setup files. So all these customizations uh, you can do from uh, this uh, window. You will also see this button here, which says install SSMS, which is SQL Server Management Studio. When you click on this button, so let me click on this button. It's going to open the browser and it's going to open the web page from where you can download the SQL Server Management Studio. So when you will scroll down, you can see free download for SQL Server Management Studio. I'm going to click on this link, which is going to start the download of this exe file. So just wait for this download to complete. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this executable file and let me minimize this browser. And first of all, 
it will show you this kind of warning do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i trust this app so i'm going to click on yes here and you can see microsoft sql server management studio with azure data studio uh, setup has been started here this will be the default location where it will be installed if you want to change it you can just click on change and choose the location if you don't have the good reason to change this location leave it as default and then click on install which is going to start the installation process so so at this point you just need to wait for some time so here you can see the process has been started and just wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. So now you can see uh, this message which says setup completed. So once you see this message, that means that SQL Server Management Studio is installed successfully. So you can close this window and now you can click on Windows Start menu. You can straight away see this here which is SQL Server Profiler which is added recently. If you want to see all the tools related to Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio you can click on apps here and then scroll down and uh, here under Microsoft SQL Server Tools 18 you will be able to see all these tools here. So you have a profiler, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, database engine and other tools uh, are available here we are going to select this one which is called microsoft sql server management studio 18 so let's just click on this and it's going to start sql server management studio on your windows 11 operating system and now you can see sql server has been started on my windows 11 operating system so here you can see the server name and then windows authentication database engine and if you want to test it you can click on connect and once you click on connect you are connected to your sql server here and you can see uh, the list of all the databases right now uh, these are the default databases here you can click one of them and uh, see all the tables there and you can see uh, these tables are available so when you click on uh, one of these tables uh, you can see columns keys so under tables you can select any table and right click uh, on the table and then click on table and it's going to show you the content inside that table right you can also create uh, different uh, databases so under system databases you have system databases and then you have database snapshots here. So in order to create a new database, you can right click here and then uh, click on new database. And then you can uh, start using this SQL Server Management Studio for creating and managing your SQL database. So this is how you can download and install SQL Server with SQL Server Management Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.